I came to Platteville here uh, because I was looking for a job, of course, and um, this came up, and when I first came here, actually, I didn't get a job right away. Um, they needed a basketball coach, and uh, I wasn't a basketball coach, but I had a semester later, they still needed a teacher, and I was hired. Well, I grew up in the area, so I'm originally from Belmont, and my mom worked here for, I think, about 36 years, and I just saw her love of this community and this school district. I've been in Platteville for you know, 20 years or more, and always working with high schoolers, and I love spending time with students and seeing how they learn, seeing what excites them, um, watching them grow socially, academically, um, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I think the, the teamwork that the staff showed at Pueblo High School is something that really is it, so commendable. Um, working together, it, teaching online is not something that uh, everybody has expertise in. And last year everybody was forced to kind of become an expert to some degree in virtual education. And it was great to see the, the people that um, adapted those skills really quickly, help those that um, maybe that transition was a little bit more difficult for. Yeah, uh, COVID was, I think, tough on everyone, uh, as far as, uh, well, everyone, but educationally, it was really tough. And I think teachers went into that next level, uh, really, and just kind of dug down and said, this is what we have to do. And we just did it. And so I don't think at the time, we struggled, but I think most of us just adapted and did what we could do and, and knew that we were doing a great job. When we all came back together, when we were able to be full-time in person, it felt so much more natural and so much more, um, yeah, like we were a big family, which was really cool. So I think it was challenging, but it brought us together as a staff. I think we figured out ways to be really creative and inventive with our teaching and with reaching out to students. I think it helped make us more aware of inequities in our district and in our own classrooms that we needed to work through, whether that was um, technology or a number of other things, and that helped um, make us better teachers. So. You know, honestly, I really don't even, you don't think about it, and I think most teachers don't think about it for the most part. Um, it's like, oh, I need this. You run out to wherever it is you have to go to and you, you buy it and then you don't really think about it a lot. Now there's some bigger items sometimes where you, you, know, you go and plead to your administration that you know, I need these things. But uh, for the most part, I think we just take it as part of the job. I think you kind of just see it as, like the way I think about it is, I'm, <laughs> it drives my wife nuts. Um, we're at Walmart, I'm like, oh, that'd be great in this class, or that a great class, and she kind of knows the drill because she teaches too, but we're always looking for deals on stuff to supplement something, you know, teaching a concept in our class. Um, I think we kind of view it as it's all part of the pool of resources. Um, if it helps these kids, it's, it's, you don't even think about it. My students are my family, so like of course I'm going to spend money on them and for them and I, um, I guess I don't think about it to be honest. I probably should have a budget, um, but I think yeah, I want my classroom to feel like a place and a space where everyone is welcomed and safe. And I think that you do that by pouring yourself and your resources and your heart into it. And part of my resources is my time and my money. So um, yes, I think I work a lot. I take on some extra jobs and roles in the district so that I can um, support that side of what I think teaching is and my husband supports that because he loves my students too and we make it work but I will definitely say that statistic is probably true. <laughs> so remember, remember we're doing the drop off for the care packages August 24th between 2 and 6 p.m. You're wondering what could we possibly put in these care packages? Well a lot of teachers like chocolate but also think of um, some small gift cards because we've got 210 staff in the school district that we're trying to make these care packages for. Everyone from the janitor to the superintendent to last year we had a little bit extra, we were able to give some to the school bus drivers as well. So think of little things that you can give to all 210 of them and, and also consider, like the teachers spending their own personal funds, think of little classroom supplies that, that are overlooked sometimes. So that might be whiteboard markers, they might be tissue boxes, even little hand sanitizers this year. 
So keep that in mind and drop that off Drop that off August 24th between 2 and 6 p.m. at the Plateau High School parking lot. Thank you.